Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and guess what? We went out and spent our own money and picked up the new Ego Nexus Escape 400 watt power inverter. You know, the previous model to this was 150 watts. Now, this thing's got a bunch of really nice features, by the way. And you know what? You can throw a 2.5 amp hour battery on it. You can put a 12 amp hour battery on it. And when they come out with larger batteries, you will be able to put those batteries on this thing. Now, I'm going to review the top six features. I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to ask you for those thumbs up in the comments so that this video goes viral to help the channel because you know... 99% of the time, we actually have to go out and buy this equipment, so it's not sponsored. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there it goes. And let me tell you, this thing is huge. I mean, it's a perfect size, but compared to the other model, this thing is huge, you know? So you get your booklet, you get your box, and then you just use your batteries. And that's a close look real quick. And let's go ahead and just check out what this thing looks like to the previous model. All right, so let's take a moment and just do a close look, right? After we do our close look, I'm going to go over the top six features. So, I mean, when you look at this, 400 watts versus 150 watts, right? I mean, you could see here, if we look at the outlets, you've got the two USBs and the 150 watt outlet, right? And when you look at this guy here, well, you've got the 400 watt outlet. You've got two USB type C's and one type A. All right, your power button's on the front here. On this one, your power button is on the, the bottom here, right? Because you're putting your battery on here, so it really is the bottom, right? So that's kind of cool that this can sit this way. And um, another thing I see that's different, too, is you could see here the connectors are exposed, right? And over here, they're not. So when you put a battery on this, you know, it'll then go down, so the battery will go, and it'll lock right in place, and then you can use your release to release your battery, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. Now, as we look at the side of the older model, you've got power plus 150 watts, right? Same thing on the other side, power plus 150 watts. And you look here, now you've got that Ego 400 watt. You've got some ventilation, which is good. So that's going to help. And we look here. Again, Ego 400 watt, some ventilation, which is nice. Looking at the back, uh, more ventilation, by the way, which is good. Okay. Um, you know, in the back here, you, you know, basically, yeah, you've got your plugs. You don't have a lot of ventilation on this. You do in the front. I could see that, which is nice. And then you look at the handle, right? It's convenient. It's nice. So one thing they did differently with this handle is... I hear a clicking position. Now, I don't know why, but that could be beneficial, I guess, if you want to keep this in a certain angle. But it is beefy, for sure. All right, so that's pretty cool. And um, what's different? You know, you look at the bottom here. you got the power button, the Ego logo. But on the bottom here, you actually have... Wait a minute. We've got LED lights. That's pretty cool. And there's more to it. So I'm going to go over that with you. So that is a nice look at the unit. Let's go ahead and go over the top six features. So feature number one, of course, the reason why you're buying this is it's got a 400 watt inverter, right? Continuous, as long as you've got that battery, right? That 12 amp hour, that 10 amp hour, and 800 watt peak, right? So that'll last you like a second, right? It's just for the surge. So let me just take a quick look at the unit real quick. So you can see here it's 400 watts, right? And that's what you're going to do there with the AC um, outlet, 400 watts coming out of that. So that's huge in comparison to the previous model at 150 watts. Feature number two, the cleanest power possible. So this has a pure sine wave AC outlet, right? So we just looked at that AC outlet and let's take a quick look real quick. So, you know, again, why is it important in some cases, to have a pure sine wave outlet. 
You know, there are certain things that when you plug them into like a modified outlet, there'll be a humming noise and you're wondering why, right? So Ego putting a pure sine wave outlet into this thing is huge. And, you know, if you plug a fan in, you'll actually hear a humming noise. If you plug this into certain TVs or certain, believe it or not, printers, and I know you're not going to use this for a printer, um, they say this also is good for like a CPAP as well. So pure sine wave is great. Anything better is going to be plugging something into the wall at your house. Feature number three, well, we talked about it. Plenty of USB ports, right? So let's take a look at the unit and go over the specifications of the USB ports. So let's take a look at these USB ports. So you do get an 18-watt USB Type-A. You get an 18-watt USB Type-C on the bottom. And the top port is actually a USB Type-C 100-watt and it's in and out. It's a power direct. So what does that mean? If I plugged in my phone, well, obviously, it's not going to be able to use 100 watts, but it'll actually fast charge my phone, right? As long as it has that feature. But what if I plug in an AC outlet with a USB Type-C cord and plug it into here? Well, that will then start receiving power and charging this battery. So again, I can actually output 100 watts, or I can input 100 watts. That's pretty cool. Well, feature number four, it's got a built-in LED light. It actually has two of them, as you can see on the picture on the screen. And they have three modes. It's low, high, and emergency mode. Let's take a look at the lights real quick. All right, so I turned it on, right? So it's using the power of the battery. And now, all I need to do is press this light button. So as you can see here, I can press the light button, and I like that too, that it actually can stand upright, which is kind of cool, so that's nice. And then if you press it again, it's a little brighter. And then if you press it again, it'll turn off. But if you, I think if you press it once and you hold it, I think it'll do emergency mode, if I'm not mistaken, I was told. One, there it goes. So that's actually emergency mode, all right? So that's pretty cool. And let me turn off the lights real quick and see what it looks like in here. So that's pretty dark in here. Lights are on here in the Tech Made Easy Studio. A little brighter. And again, if we hold it and then let go, it'll actually do emergency mode. Pretty cool. All right, I'm outside real quick. I don't know how bright this thing is, but we're going to try the light outside. So, you know, turn it on. So that's low. And I'm here in front of some bushes, as you can see here. And then I'm going to turn it on high. And high definitely makes a difference, right? I've got this right in front of me, right? But I, I wanted to show you off, low, and high. Okay? Not too bad. Now, if I hold the button down... Let's just see what the emergency mode looks like. All right. And there you go. Feature number five, it fits any Ego battery, right? And right now we're all the way up to the 12 amp hour battery. Let's check that out. So you can see we've already got a 2.5 amp hour battery on this thing, right? I mean, look at the size difference between these two. right? And again, nice and heavy, <laughs> but it fits and it works. I mean, just imagine how long it'll run the flashlight or whatever you have connected to it that's pulling, you know, a couple hundred watts. I like that. That's really nice. Feature number six, it's got some protection modes, so that's kind of cool, right? You've got over temperature protection. Uh, when it hits about 158 degrees or 70 Celsius, the unit will shut down. Um, the power button will glow red for about a minute. And then it's also got an overload or short circuit protection. They say the unit will flash red for about a minute and then it'll shut down. So that's good to know. Now here's some additional information too, right? So the model number is PAD5000. The MSRP is $169 for now. And that, 
you know, we'll see what happens as far as pricing. Availability around March to April time frame right now to be available for the public. The weight is 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilogram. And the tool warranty is five years. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this information helpful. And you know what? If you did, take a moment. Give us a thumbs up. It'll really help the channel. And it'll really help the video. And you know what? It's not sponsored. Most of the time, not sponsored pretty much, right? So we'd appreciate that. By the way, if you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member. Share our video, you know, take a moment. If you're in one of the Ego chat rooms, post this, you know, share this. And um, if you want, take a moment and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and check out our new Tesla channel right up there. All right, My Tesla Journey. We bought a Tesla, and we've been doing some reviews, and we're going to start sharing our journey very shortly. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell, and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, Follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day.